Here we are in the carriage of the new Ipse cable car Zugspitz. The base station lies some 998 meters above sea level, which means the new cable car travels a height difference of 1950 meters between the base station and mountain station, a world record. Up there, you can see the support pylon. The old cable car had two support pylons, but there was no need for that with the new system. So there's only one now, and you have an unsupported span of 3,213 meters between the pylon and the mountain station. Yet another world record. The main drives are located in the base station. There we have a redundant system with two large X-series helical gear units in size 280, which were manufactured in Finland. They exert a normal torque of approximately 240,000 newton meter, and the drive features a large pin coupling with a switch. As I've said, this is a redundant system, which means that if one drive fails, the other can operate the entire cable car system by itself. In this case, the carriage can't carry as many people, of course, only 60 instead of 120. The drive power reaches 1600 kilowatts, which is extraordinary in the cable car industry. In this respect, it was a big project for us too. Of course, it is important to us that we can always rely on the fact that the dimensioning will fit to the data we provided. After all, Mr. Baumgartner knows precisely how the cable car functions and what to look out for. I honestly think this is vital, because we're not talking about a run-of-the-mill gear unit that you can just install anywhere. There are simply a lot of factors to consider. <laughs>